<laughs> Wally, congratulations. That was amazing. Great job, Wally. Kid Flash, let him know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's done. We just deposited plunder in Iron Heights. Yes, you did. His real name is Jared Murillo. Turns out he's wanted for a string of robberies from here to Star City. Wally, what was that? I mean, you're supposed to be shadowing me. Wait, you're mad at me? I thought... Observe and learn. That's it. Whoa. That's it. Bear, ease up. Wally just saved your life. I'm sorry, Wally, but if you can't learn to follow orders, this deal between us, it's over. Okay. Who's ready for... Oh, man. Wallace, B.A., you're supposed to be dressed for the museum opening. HR, we're speedsters. We have time. Nobody likes a braggart. Yeah, but we were actually talking about something important before you showed up, so... You... Okay. You clean up well. Thank you. I like the way you dress. Guys, this is a very, very big deal for all of us. Come on. Don't be late to the party. Hey, YouTubers, it's Charlie. So we already got some footage for the next episode of The Flash, so let's break it down. I'll also remind everyone what's going on with the schedule. There is a new round of the Flash Ring giveaway going on right now. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. Make sure you click that bell to enable alerts so that you don't miss anything during the break. Just at first glance, this is a really simple scene about Barry training Wally West, Wally not listening, just like Jesse Quick. Jesse totally did not listen to Barry when he tried to train her during the Mirror Master fight. So what's happening here is that Wally's just super eager and Barry is so weighted down with all the crap that he knows is going to happen because of Savitar that it's causing him to be a bit of an asshole. So what you need is like a Jay Garrick type person to come in and just tell them all to chill the frack down. But HR comes in and says the museum's getting ready to open. Remember, he's trying to turn Star Labs into a museum, which sounds like a precursor to the Flash Museum, so we know that's going on. But the title of the episode is Borrowing Problems from the Future, so that is more of a hat tip to the other big thing in this that they kind of casually drop, which is Plunder, another Jeff Johns, Wally West era villain, which we heard about when Barry traveled to the future. So they're literally borrowing a character problem from the future. There's probably some other stuff happening to inform the title too, but that's the only thing we can guess based on this clip. So the thing about him is that he actually makes me wonder if they're gonna do the Wonderland arc from the Jeff Johns run, which is a Wally West story. So way back in the early 2000s, a long time before Jeff Johns ever brought Barry Allen back in the first Flash Rebirth, I know it gets confusing when we talk about Rebirth because they have the new DC Rebirth going on right now with its own Flash Rebirth. So the original Flash Rebirth is the first time Barry Allen came back. But before then, for almost like eight or nine years, Jeff Johns wrote a lot of Wally West stories and Plunder debuted as a rogue during an arc called Wonderland. So Wally West gets trapped in the Mirror Universe where he doesn't have his powers and everything is different. It's like a darker version of our reality. So it's kind of like a version of Earth 2 from the Flash TV show Season 2 where Zoom had taken control and all the metas were evil. So while Wally West is trapped, powerless, in this mirror universe, being arrested by the police, the rogues send Plunder back to the regular universe to cause a bunch of havoc and make a big distraction while they take care of Wally West. So what they might do, because we haven't done Mirror World yet, is they might use a multiverse story or they might choose not to do that at all. Like they'll just bring Plunder on and he'll be a distraction for something much bigger. Because Plunder is like a regular bounty hunter. He's dangerous, but he usually works with someone else. There's somebody else using him as a distraction. So that could be the other Flash Rogues or it could be Savitar. Because with exception to alternate Earth stories like Gorilla Grodd or any like the special small arcs they're going to do, Savitar's the big villain. So if one of the smaller villains is going to be working for another big villain, that big villain is probably going to be Savitar. But one of the other things that made me think of the Jeff Johns Wonderland arc is because there's this image on the cover of the first issue of Flash getting carted off to prison. We've never heard of the Flash. We're taking you to jail. And he doesn't have his powers, so he gets stuck in prison. He just has to rot there for a little while till he can get out. When Barry ran back to save his mother at the end of season one, we saw a flash forward of him in prison. That could be how he ends up in prison. But the thing I don't think they'll do is mirror world. They might just use an alternate earth or they might find some way for Barry to lose his powers briefly or somehow just end up in prison. 
It's just that usually the stand-in for Mirror World is like another Earth. So like we're going to go to Earth 19 eventually. We've been to Earth 3. They might just use another Earth instead of doing straight up Mirror World from the comics. But I know a lot of you are asking about the prophecy that Savitar gave them. Like somebody's going to betray them. Someone's going to suffer a fate worse than death. Someone will fall. So I'm going to do a separate video about that. But I do not think that Wally is going to betray the team. I think it'd be super disingenuous for Wally to go through this entire arc about getting his powers back, like almost betraying the team to become one of Savitar's followers. They save him for him to then just turn around later and do the exact same thing. So we can talk about it a little more in the future, but just expect a betrayal from someone that you would not think to betray the team. Usually that's what they do each new season, is that a character surprises you. Like Caitlyn, sweetest person ever, gets her Killer Frost arc, almost turns on the team in a later season. Cisco almost turns on the team when he finds out that he might get his brother back, but then he comes back from the edge of darkness. So if someone else on Team Flash is going to betray them, just expect it to be a surprise. Somebody that you wouldn't think would normally betray them. But if you guys want, I will do a Flash Wonderland bonus video for like that entire comic book story. And they also revealed, you know, big thing, Gypsy from the comics is coming on the show. Now her name is Cindy Reynolds, so that's probably what they'll call her when she comes on the show. But her powers are basically like illusion casting. She can cause you to see things, but she could like camouflage herself in any environment and someone that's standing next to her. So that's probably how they're going to use her powers. But during the New 52, more recently, she showed up during a vibe arc. And the actor who plays Cisco revealed that she was coming on the show. So she might have something to do with like a small arc for Cisco's character in the back half. They didn't say exactly when she's coming on, but it's going to be somewhere during the middle of the run in the back half when we come back. So that's just one character. I know a lot of you guys have asked me for a video on the Accelerated Man. He's the Flash from Earth-19. They're going to go to Earth-19. It'll be a Gorilla Grodd crossover story. So there'll be all kinds of new stuff happening that we haven't even learned about in the back half of the season that I'll talk more about when they start to reveal stuff. But just a reminder, The Flash is coming back January 24th. I'll be doing Flash Ring giveaways and bonus videos every week. So no worries. It's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys are on break. If you're not caught up on all the DC shows, I would recommend you do that during the break. I have videos for pretty much everything. And what's happening later tonight is I'll post my Spider-Man Q&A video. So if you haven't seen the Spider-Man trailers I posted, check those out and leave some comments if you want me to include them in that Q&A. While you guys wait for that to post, you can click here for my Spider-Man trailer videos and you can click here to learn all about Savitar on the Flash. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.